Theresa May invokes spirit of Churchill and Thatcher as she vows to take on selfish big business and unveils plans to pump billions extra into schools and the NHS to help ordinary working families, but warns of hard choices ahead. Theresa May today promised a new contract between government and the people as she unveiled a Tory manifesto which pumps billions extra into schools and the NHS, but warned of tough choices ahead. The PM invoked the spirit of Sir Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher by unveiling a blueprint for power entitled Forward, Together, a phrase coined by the great wartime leader and used by the Britain's first female prime minister. In a bold pitch for working-class support, Mrs May bluntly stated that the next few years would not be easy and appealed for an end to tribal attitudes that have divided the nation. And the PM said she will ask for sacrifices from wealthy pensioners in order to create a fairer post-Brexit Britain. Contrasting her approach with Labour's unfunded spending splurge, the Prime Minister said she would not shy away from making hard choices to turn the country into a great meritocracy. In return, her Tough Love manifesto promised a new contract that would expand opportunity more widely, end the domination of elites, and ease the impact of mass immigration. Launching the Conservative plans in Halifax, Mrs May said every vote for her on June 8 would strengthen her hand in the looming negotiations with Brussels. But she said her ambitions went further. The Prime Minister has said she would vote to lift the ban on fox hunting despite never having taken part in a hunt, insisting it was less cruel than other ways of controlling foxes. But it is hard to forecast how the new Commons might split on the issue. The 2015 Parliament was thought never likely to endorse repealing the ban. Eduardo Gonçalves, chief executive of the League Against Cruel Sports, said, We are disappointed to see the commitment to a free vote on the Hunting Act included in the manifesto given the strong support the ban on hunting has among Conservative MPs and Conservative voters. Hopefully any attempt to repeal we can nor replace the hunting act will be prevented by those members of all parties who oppose the killing of animals for fun.